Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Stevie and today I'm going to be showing you three easy, trendy hairstyles that you can style on wet or dry hair. What you are going to need for these hairstyles are clear rubber bands, a comb, a clip, a hair tie, a fancy clip if you have one. This is my first look I am going to be showing you. I think they are called faux dutch braids or pretzel braids is what I refer to them as. You're going to take this section and split it in half and it doesn't have to be even at all, you're not going to be able to tell. Take the second hair tie that you just put in and put that towards the front, clip it. And then pick up a whole nother section, including the split around the hair tie. And then hair tie that. And you're going to do that all the way down. I like to tighten mine as I go. Once you have no more hair left, you continue to do the same thing. The clear hair ties do not have to be super tight. So the key to making these look really, really cool is pulling them apart. You want to start at the top and work your way down because it pulls from the bottom. So you're just going to grab what the two that went around the hair tie and pull them apart. My hair is wet so it does stay intact and even if it was dry it's just going to give it a nice fold look. I accidentally did the second section a little too wide as compared to this side. The side is way smaller, so that's why it looks a little different. So as you can see, these are so, so cute to wear. If you don't know how to Dutch braid your hair, these are perfect. Anybody can do them. All you need are clear hair ties and those are super inexpensive. Dollar Tree, Walmart, Target, any beauty supply store has them. And on to look number two. Okay, look number two is definitely the fastest and it's super cute. So I am starting with damp hair and I want my hair parted down the middle, but really it's whatever works best for your face shape or texture of your hair, whatever you prefer, as long as the back is going straight back. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a section from my temples back and since my hair is damp, I am going to make sure it is all smoothed out. I find as my hair dries when it's wet, 
it doesn't look as good if there's bumps in it but when it's dry and you put bumps in it it is super cute and gives volume okay so now that i have it all combed back like this i'm going to put the hair tie in securely gauging from where the middle is i'm going to make a hole and i'm going to go over and under This way, it sits flat against your head. And this part is going back in to this. Now I'm going to take another section, just like this. Smooth everything out. I want these to look like going into each other almost and I am going to secure this part with another rubber band okay so after you do the over and under thing twice you're gonna make sure everything is nice and tight and pull it back and you are going to braid from here, but you are going to want to make sure you get some of this into your braid and not just braid this. Okay, so you're going to take some of the ponytail, some of the ponytail, and then you're going to braid that all the way down. And I am leaving room at the bottom because we are going to be spreading this out. If you wanted to, you could fishtail this. I just find that the braid is so much easier and quicker. You could also do it in a bun after you do that. But if you just want a nice, fun... I mean, the light wasn't on. Um, if you just want a nice, fun braid, I recommend this. And then you can take your clips and position it however you want. So I like one clip on top of that elastic and another clip on top of that elastic. And you can spray it if you want to. If you don't have clips, that's fine. I think it looks super cute without the clips, um, but I do recommend double elasticing the over and under part because if, you're, if your hair is wet especially because when your hair dries it's going to expand and that can sometimes break your elastics so double them if your hair is wet and you're not using the clips. Now it is time for hairstyle number three. The third look I'm starting with wet hair again and I'm going to part it all the way down the center and back. For this, I recommend brushing the side of your hair that you're working on, but do not do it until you're ready to start working. That way this side, once you do brush it, it is still, has the same wetness as this side. It's hard to explain, but it keeps it from becoming frizzy. So you're gonna grab a corner section like this. And the reason I'm keeping everything brushed out is because, well, you'll see. And instead of over under, we're going to go under over. It does make a difference. And this is the way I prefer it for this particular look. It's a little bit edgier. If you have free time, you can play around and see what you like best. And you're going to want to get in this one as close to this one as possible. I am a 
licensed cosmetologist. I have been doing hair for four years now and this still confuses me. <laughs> so every time I do this, I always tell myself, under, over. Under, over, under, over. Or over, under. Make it to where when you push it through, it looks like it's flipped out, so. Yeah, oh, under over. <laughs> and that's gonna give it this like little dramatic effect versus being more so stuck to your head. And as you can see, it is super quick. You don't have to go all the way down if you don't want to, but for this look, I am. So it's like braided, but not, or like twisted. And it is super cute. And all you have to do is remember to go Under over. <laughs> Cute. That was literally so fast. I'm shocked, honestly, how fast that was. You know, just putting your fingers through and grabbing it like that and then pulling. Alright, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, like, subscribe, so that way you can stay in touch with me. Hit the notification bell. I want to do another one of these hair videos because it was so much fun to do and it is so cute. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.